What's going on YouTube? Top ranking noob here with another video, this time for Amazon's New World. I've been looking forward to this game for a long time. Um, <laughs> after playing it for a bit, I'm kind of glad they pushed the date back. It's got some work that it still needs to be done. But all in all, I'm still having some fun. I wanted to create this video. I wanted to start creating some helpful videos. Even though things are subject to change, uh, I wanted to just create some content that might help you all along the way. For those of you that are also participating in the uh, New World preview over the next 10 days. Uh, so if you're like me, you probably like crafting, you probably ran into a realization that uh, things like rocks and trees are easy to find outside of these cities, but iron is a little more elusive. I did find a good grinding location for iron for you crafters. Whether or not this video is helpful totally depends on where you're at in the map, though. Uh, so I'm down here in the south. I'm actually in the, what is this called? The winds, the winds word. Uh, section of the map uh, they definitely need to work on this map um, and outside of this city not too far away I found a pretty good place to grind some iron so if you're in the area hopefully this video is helpful uh, if uh, if it is go ahead and give it a thumbs up I'd really appreciate that now with fast travel being uh, very minimal in this game this this what typically would be a pretty short video it's going to take a little bit more time. Uh, out of Windsward, uh, we are actually going to um, head south. Just south of this settlement, there is a Danksfer Hollow, uh, and there's several places in this area to grab iron. Uh, so it's not too far away. Where am I at here? We got to take a look at the compass up here at the top of the screen. And the fact that it's not too far away is extremely handy because when you start mining ore and things like that, it's really heavy. So you want to make sure that um, you're not too far away from a place where you can actually put this stuff. All right, so we are on the southern end of Windsward Hamlet. Uh, and on this here, we're just going to head almost dead south. Now these iron nodes are first come first serve, so you might not necessarily see them, but if you, with all the nodes I'm going to show you, there's more than you could really carry at this point in the game. So as we head dead south, we're going to head close to this rock formation where we're going to find our first iron ore. All right, and so the iron ore is going to spawn right on this spot. I'm going to show you guys that in a minute. Uh, let's pull up the map here. As you can see, we're just south of that Windsward settlement, uh, and it's going to spawn right here. Uh, but as you can see right here in the distance, there's another one right there in the middle of the open field. Uh, so you're going to be hugging this rock a lot, but sometimes we're going to veer off of this rock. If you don't know what you're looking for as far as iron goes, uh, it's a much darker color here. And here's two more nodes here. Uh, that you can get uh, now obviously I'm gonna be missing some nodes because it is first come first serve like I said so if I do miss anything by all means let me know down in the comments uh, but here we go so here it finally spawned the first one that I wanted to show you uh, right next to this rock formation uh, and then a few more open in the field now if if you uh, if you find all of these nodes there's gonna be more than you could carry out at this time uh, here's a fallen tree. This kind of helps you know that you're on the right track. Uh, when it comes to iron, there's no level requirements for mining it as long as you have the, the miner's pickaxe. Uh, so this is the actual hollow itself. There's going to be plenty of wolves that spawn here. Uh, what is it? Dank for a hollow is what it's called. Now inside is a silver node. Let's go see if we can find that right now since the iron node's not quite there just yet. And there's a silver node that spawns right here that's also taken. That's all right, though. I think the silver node did respawn. Here it is. Oh, I see somebody just broke it. Now, the silver node, I think you do have to be a certain level in order to get that. But that is a pretty large node inside of there for silver. So if you're looking for that, there it is. Uh, iron, there's no skill requirements for it. Still no node. I don't know what the respawn timer is for this node or these, these nodes. Uh, I haven't clocked it just yet, but 
If you do know, let us know down in the comments. Uh, I don't think it's that long. Maybe 10 minutes or so. That's a guess. All right, so just north of the actual hollow, and that node finally did respawn. It's a pretty big one there. Uh, but there's your iron vein again. So there's plenty of nodes here. It's just a matter of whether or not they're going to spawn. Uh, once you have that one and maybe even that silver that's inside the hollow itself, uh, we're going to continue heading almost dead south, and we're just hugging these, these rock formations here. Uh, there is another silver node that spawns along the way here, uh, somewhere in this area where this guy has the camp, but that's not really what this video is about, so we're not going to worry too much about that. All right, now we got two different directions we can go. Uh, we can continue to hug this rock formation and go up there, but before we do, there's some uh, nodes for some iron down here by this lake that we want to get. Uh, they kind of look like big piles of crap from Jurassic Park here. I believe there's two nodes here, a smaller one and a much larger one. And then there's going to actually be a third node if you're facing away from the lake, kind of run up this rock formation up here. There's going to be uh, a node visible in this area if somebody didn't already bang it out. It's going to be right in this location. You can kind of see on the dirt the, the remnants of that particular node. All right. And so, yeah, it, it seems like these these respawns for these nodes are about 10 minutes. But here's the uh, here's the node here. So let's go ahead and backtrack here again. Uh, we were originally against the rock wall formation, but we came down here just to check out those nodes. Uh, so now we're actually going to go up this hill kind of towards the east. All of this again, still south of the the Windsward settlement. As we go up the hill, there's going to be uh, three more nodes, and this is usually where I have my camp in case I die, because there's going to be some rather large level 14-ish uh, pumas up here that don't have a, a lot of difficulty killing you, especially if you get more than one or two on you. All right, so here you're going to find three nodes. There's my uh, weak little camp. Uh, these are the two smaller ones. Uh, right here, but there's going to be a much larger one right here in the middle. Uh, so I'm not going to wait for that to respawn since we can see those two nodes there. If we kind of head north from this area real quick, though, we're not going too, too far. There's another small silver node right here that you could also mine if you're a high enough level. But again, we're not too, too focused on that. So from here, we're going to keep heading. Uh, we're still heading pretty much dead south at this point, past these three nodes here. And this is where we're going to start finding those pumas. But we have a couple of more nodes here. Now, uh, if you've uh, if you found every node so far, you're probably going to be close to overweight and need to head back from this point on. Uh, but chances are, you know, these uh, these nodes are going to be farmed by somebody else. So hopefully by showing you all the ones that I found thus far, um, you'll have plenty. So we're heading to this lake right here. Uh, and we're not going too much farther than this. As we hit the lake here, we're just going to kind of point ourselves to the east a little bit. Find the nodes right in this area, I believe, but it looks like they're not. So we're going to wait for them to appear. All right, and finally, like I said, we are just a little east of this little lake here, and you can see these nodes respawning right here. Uh, I think this is the smaller of the, I believe there's two of them here. Uh, it might be three, so correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I'm not going to wait for all the nodes to spawn, just because with the lack of fast travel, these, uh, these videos are going to be a little longer than typical games here. So let me know down in the comments. But once you grind all of those, you're probably going to be close to overweight. Luckily, this is not too, too far away from the main settlement. And that's really what you want when you're farming or uh, <laughs> especially a lot of it because you don't want to have a long, slow walk back if you're over encumbered because uh, you can't run. And I haven't tried fast traveling while over encumbered, uh, but you can only do that once per hour anyways. So 
Uh, I'll probably test that out later on. But those are all the nodes. Hopefully this iron is a little helpful for you. Uh, if you didn't know, iron's going to be used in uh, some of the lower level weapons and armors. And you're going to need to be able to farm it just to level up your skills. Uh, as we head back towards the settlement, you can see the larger iron vein here is finally respawned as well. Uh, and I'm just going to outrun all of those pumas. I guess we could talk about what you do with the iron ore in the event that you didn't know. This game's still pretty new. There's going to be these uh, smelters once you get into town. And from there, you can just melt the ore. It takes four or, uh, raw ore in order to make one iron ingot. And from there, you can use it to craft your weapons. You can use it to craft probably armor. I haven't fully explored the entire crafting system, but it does seem pretty straightforward at this point anyways. At any rate, hopefully you found this video helpful if you are in the Windsward area. Uh, if not, keep an eye out for some more videos. I want to create some more helpful content. I know people are looking for things like oil. People are looking for things like fiber. So I'm going to do my best to create some helpful videos to help out the players. Even though the truth is, you know, with this just being the beta preview, all of this is going to be subject to change when the game officially launches, what, like six months from now? Uh, but hopefully this helps you out during the preview. And if it did, consider subscribing give this video a thumbs up i appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you all next time